Pernies over here, look at these pernies. Couple of pernies. Oh, we're right close. Oh, they're right here. Right here. Oh no, I've run over the top of them. Absolute cocus. Cocus stand. Alright, there. What can you do? Oh, there's heaps over here too. That's where we're going anyway. Oh, here they go. Sweep it through there. Just throw on this timber stick bait this guy made me. Shy lure. It's probably too big for him, eh, to be honest. They're tiny ones, eh? They're only about that big. Tiny toonies. Tiny toons. Anyway, we'll keep going over here. This is where we want to go. There's some birds and stuff working over here too, so. Good signs so far. Bit of bait around, bit of action, bit of birds and stuff, so. That might oil pressure come on here. Engine trouble. Low oil pressure. That's just gone into limp mode, so that's just another thing to add to the, to the list of things that goes wrong. So lucky I haven't gone too far this morning, but yeah, full limp mode, eh? Have to look. I might just fish this edge and then I'm gonna have to limp back. Luckily, we're just over here, boat ramp. Oh my god, never ends, eh? Never ends. Birds and stuff here. I wonder if I turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Giving me the warning now. No, no warning now. Kicked in. It's gone. Warning is gone, but I bet if I put strain on it, it'll it'll come back on. Low pressure oil. Low pressure oil. Low oil pressure. Well, I'm just gonna have a crack at this this air chain because I'm here. The birds are working it pretty hard, so I'm going to give it a crack. Cheers, guys. Just getting to the good zone. Just run over the top of it, boys. Oh, man, that's so frustrating. Very frustrating. I don't even know why you're still popping. Just reel it in, champion. Oh my god. Fried. Proper fried the joint. Just getting onto the good zone, eh? What are they doing? Never ever do that, hey, like, that's the good territory, like, I think they realise, like, how good that can be there, you know, like, stuff like that, and they've just run over top of it, looking at his sounder, that's so, fr and, he, and he's not even going to fish there, he's like looking at his sounder, like, it's, it's strange, hey, like, you see something like this, you need to, it needs to be like, virgin ground because people just like running over it just bombs the whole thing for everyone eh so that's the end of that so i don't know if this motor's going to give me any more trouble i think maybe go one of these one ounces down with pink head make it look pretty yeah, a little five inch so they might be on like little tiny stuff by the looks of it. So this, get it on there straight. A little, a little five inch and chase these tuna out here. This bird looks like he's all over them. Just went into limp mode again as I was sneaking up on these tuna, but 
See if we can just drift into them and and yeah, I think it's just that lower end. I feel hey, and you're chugging along. When it was on the plane this morning, it was fine. There was no issues. So here they are. Oh, they're right here. Right here. Drop it into them. Oh, they're better ones. Get one to bite. Bodies. Right from the poke, their heads up. So rare. They're just all around here, hey. Let it drop. I think they're on some tiny stuff, eh? Hey? That school there, they're going pretty nuts. Turnies, <laughs> they're going there, mate. Look at them go. Look at them go. I don't know if I can reach them from here. Ah, short. Come towards me here. Right in them. be a hookup. Yep, there's one. Had to be a hookup, hey. <clears throat> Had to be. Oh, Toonies. Toonie. Come on, Toonie. I think he's only small. But, <laughs> there we go. On the little plucky. They're on really small stuff here. You can see like tiny little white baits just spraying everywhere. Oh, he's going under the boat. Big tuna circles. Around that trolling boat, I'll be right. There we go. Oh, he's not a bad one, eh? Kind of smoked him in, eh? Not a bad longy, eh? Hey? Green as. <laughs> Get around that way then, mate. Come on, mate. Oh! Upset. Very upset. Very upset. He's green as. Green as a bean. Keen as a bean. Oh. Oh. Big rod snappies there. Big rod snappies. Come here, Toonie. You've bombed the whole rest of the school, this Toonie. He's gonna love that trolling mode, eh? Huh? Give up. Give up. Give up. Still circle man. Have to just grab him, eh? Gonna just have to grab him. Just leader him. Bring him in. That's it. Come here. Come here, Tony. Not a bad one, that one. Yeah! Choked it too, eh? Choked it there, Tuny. Where is it? Down there, hey. Proper. Proper nailed it. Proper nailed it. There we go. Little five inch trick. Perfect little toony. Oh, he, oh my god, stop. Just stop. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Stop. Stop. Tuna. 
little trick for you. Turn them upside down, they don't go as, as silly. Oh yes, they do. <laughs> They're just full of beans, hey, just non-stop. Non-stop, do circle work. Good fun though. Oh, here's some more just over here, just popped up. A little bit off from there. That's right, let it sink a bit. Oh, there's one. I hit it, hit it on the drop. Sneaky. Sneaky. Messed me up. Messed me up a bit. Just having my morning coke now. It's like 8.30. Lots of schools up here now. Little school just sit. Oh, is that a turtle? No, it's a turtle. Big turtle over there. The schools are tuna over here. The problem is when you're going into the, you just listen to the boat. All that, all that boat flapping, no good. Especially for spooky tuna. So I'm gonna try and go up the side here. Cast back into them this way. And all you're looking for is the birds. And you're looking for those sharp splashes in the water and usually the birds will tell you where they are but um yeah you just want to try and be stealthy you know what i mean for the most part that's with any type of fishing you want to be fairly stealthy you wouldn't want to run your petrol just straight through the guts there you want to go up there over there you want to go up here like where i'm going with the electric and cast across them like this or go up in front of them and drift into them and cast which is what I've been doing this morning just drifting into them um, with your wind the wind behind your back so you can get big long casts in but yeah they can be they can be super finicky hey like they can be like see these ones are up the birds are off them already the birds are already moving so yeah sometimes it's it's hard to get right on top of them from a long distance so it's good to just be in the area and be stealthy that way you don't have to um yeah, you don't spook them you know running your big petrol through the middle of them because there's sort of three schools there and they'll all just sort of roam around oh these ones here are going nuts it's probably hard to see but yeah oh there's a group just there where i came from oh, what a dick move that's why they call them petrol wastes today I'll just keep going for this group because I'm already about halfway between both groups to be honest. Chasing them down on the lecky. So yeah, not much to the retrieve on it. Like you just throw it in, let it sink for five, and then burn it back. And that tail just as you burn it, the tail just goes like this real you know fast sort of um swimming action so this is probably this is p5 gear too so it's like it's not not exactly sporting you know p5 50 pound braid on it i think it's a 100 pound liter but this has kind of been my go-to setup or my only real big setup i sort of need something in between in between that sort of Jack Barra stuff and and this, you know, something E3 or something. It'd, it'd be very sporting on my um, six to twelve pound, on my ten to twenty pound sort of setup. But yeah, and big big Stella too. Just stop them in their tracks. That's why that fish was so green because I just basically just smoked him in. So we're looking still. This school here seemed to be feeding into the wind a bit. Wind's coming this way. Seem to be feeding into the wind. Back up this edge. It looks like this bird's on them here. There we go. Birds are generally on them, eh? Get a cast in there. Oh, into the wind's not great casting wise. Oh, they're just here, look. Did I, did I cook that cast anymore? Here we go, ready? No. Oh no, I didn't get it. Sink it down a bit. Sink, sink, sink. No. 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 
cook that. And these little toonies are. So, just over here. Sink. Two, three, four, five. Burn it. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Chased it. How good. Oh, he's pulled off. Chased it. Just out there. One, two, five seconds. Sink. Burn. Oh, come on, Toonies. Play with me. Play with me, Toons. Oh, nuts. They're coming at me. Yeah, that's on. That's on for sure. On for sure here. Come on. On for sure. Oh, come on. No way. Yes, 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 yes. Here he is. Oh, my God. He followed it all the way to the boat. What a doofus. Here we go. Here we go. We're on here for sure. Surely, hey. Surely someone eats that. No way. They didn't eat it. No way. Bullshit. Look at them. Surely they eat that. One, two, three. Oh, come on. They've gone the other way. There's one. Yep, got it. That's what I thought he wasn't going to eat it. One. Oh, that was so long. No, back to him. still running, no. So that's alright. He's running back now. Huh? Green as a bean. Green as a bean. Green as a bean. Oh! Changed on the run, a bit dangerous. There's little tunies running at the boat. There we go. Oh, I chased you around a bit, didn't I, mate? Fully chased you around a bit. Put them all on the sounder down there, 20 meters and below. Pretty cool. All right. I'm trying to sit under the motor. I'm trying to sit under the motor, hey? All right, tunies. Here we go. Come here. There we go. Oh, it's full of beans. It's a bit smaller this one. Yeah, that's it. Do your thing, Chan. Yeah, do your thing. That's it. Round and round. <laughs> Tuna circles. <laughs> yep. Nah, I'm not gonna get him. I'm not gonna get him. Give up, mate. Give up. Give up, champ. You're all right. You're all right, mate. You're all right. You're all right. Come here. There we go. Yeah, good little tunes. There we go. Up, oh, up. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just sit. Just settle. There we go. Oh, just came out. Very good. Tuna about to go stupid. Oh, he's just. Just your own worst enemy, hey. Just sit. Super green, hey. Super. <laughs> he got him out. <laughs> Just about to spear him back in, and he's like, gone. Full slippery, eh? Full slips. Slippery boys. Alright. Clean up your little mess there. Fucking headbutt a dart. Full of beans, eh? Full of beans. Full of beans, hey. Get rid of this blood off here where he head butted my boat. Blood everywhere, the old tuna blood. A bit over here. This boat's a bit dirty anyway, it needs a good wash. But, keep the blood off it at the very least. There you go, a couple of toonies. 
It's hard to chase them just on the electric, hey? He's quite hard. He's got blood on his shirt too, you bastard. But yeah, here we go. We got two. Feeding on really small stuff, so you just got to match them with that most of the time. So, yeah, right, put that in there. What do you reckon? Had enough? Well, the tide's really, really slack at the moment. Like, it's super, super slack. So, they're sort of spaced out. Like, they're way up there now. I think there's a, there's a school way down there. So, we're like, I don't know, good. Yeah, 500 metres from both schools. So, yeah, we might putt back, eh? So, here we go. All right, so slack tide. It's the point in the tide where I was like, I'm going to muck around here, around these headlands, and then scoot out a bit further. But... I don't think I'm going to now with this this oil pressure issue, so I'm gonna scoot back in, probably put this footage, I'll ring a dude when I get back and I'll see what's up with it. Could be as simple as a as a oil filter or whatever, but I don't wanna push it out another 30k and just because I'm gonna be scanning a lot and looking around too, so I just don't want to put too much pressure on it um, if we don't know what's going on with it. So yeah, unfortunately, quick little session like what an hour and a half this morning just out here so it is what it is i'll probably i'll keep you updated what's going on with the motor but yeah i might put this morning you know when i when the boat's all sorted and i go out again and whatever then i might put this clip with another clip just to save footage you know what i mean so um anyways another day on the road another boat life there's never a dull moment eh? so i'm gonna scoot back in now and um yeah that's how it is you come fishing with a mate, and he just rips you off non-stop. <laughs> no. Very odorous this ramp, hey? No, we're in the bowling mobile today, just to update you on what's going on with my boat. Is it's, um, it's going in for service, in not tomorrow, day after. So, Bowley saved the day. He's good mate, except when he's ripping me off <laughs> for my intros. But, yeah, we're going to go out today and do some stuff, so... Let's do some stuff in the bowling mobile. See how we go. Put a cast in, mate. No, I'm so un unprepared. <laughs> yes, Tony boys. Oh my goodness gracious, Toonies. You wouldn't get one. <laughs> if I don't get one, I sell all of my gear. I think five inch streaks. Oh, missed it. That was a little, that wasn't the tuning. Uh, straight out. Shit. Up there, hey, big boils up there. Up. Big boilies. Big Susan boils. I threw a stick bait for them yesterday. They didn't like that. They just wanted the little five inch, little tiny stuff. Oh, there's one. Straight away, Bolsey. In the bowling mobile. Hey, the offshore weapon. <laughs> Amazing conditions this morning. Coming at me, coming at me. Oh, it's a little mackerel. I wonder why he was just coming at me. Little spotty in the bowling mobile. He'll come off. He's dead. What, a spotty? Yeah. 55. Neck him? That's 55. Neck him. <laughs> How good is it? <laughs> Get him, Bowls. Keep him away. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't you like mackerel, mate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> ah, what a man. <laughs> what a man. What a man, eh? <laughs> Little Mackies. Well, you seriously want to keep him, do you? He's legal. <laughs> you will neck anything, <laughs> hey. You will literally neck anything. They're good, mate. Actually, they're not bad. I don't mind them. Yeah, 65, 70 nearly. Hold him up for the camera, mate. You just show everyone at home. Thank you. What massive catch it is. It's magnificent, mate. You know, that's someone's dream fish, Drew. Is it? Please so. comment if this is your dream fish. A little <laughs> spotty, 65 centimetre spotty. See comments incoming? Yes. Did you have a knife? No. Nah. Can't bleed him. Just, yeah, he'll be right. Straight down to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's alright. He's kicking. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Not looking. I'll go down now, we're here. That's like primo. Oh, 
little taco tuna. Tuna tacos, that sounds good, eh? Taco. Yeah, taco. Taco. Tuna taco. Oh, taco, 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 burrito. Yeah, I hate these things. <laughs> How good is tuna fish, eh? Oh, I'm not. There's no wind either, so it's very. Uh, nah. You had four casts and then you just. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Fucking done. I'm not working this hard for fucking small tuna. <laughs> <laughs> not be... a tuna fisherman at heart. Let's go to the oh, look at him go. Look at him go, balls. Oh, go to show. You just came to next and try out his eye. Bully. Bully trout necking. Oh, it's fun. Time for an apple, I think. I think that's what's apple o'clock, mate, you know? Need some proper nutrients. All these big fish been wanting in this morning. Maybe I can refuel the mule. Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Oh. Still great from this one. Am I recording? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Was you? Yeah. Where's the light? I just had a blank screen. Oh, it doesn't have a light. Yeah, we're pretty expert, eh, us guys? Just, just been doing YouTube for three years now, eh? Oh, I'm going on this way. Come on, what's up with you? Come on, this way or what? I think done, eh? Hey, see? Patience is a virtue, mate. Big tag, eh? Oh, yeah, didn't trim it. Got no scissors. I think the fish care, eh? Looks like a little antenna. So I leave him on there. <laughs> a little antenna. A grub tail antenna. Extra flare. I'll leave my old knots on there with the antenna as well, so it's like a double. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you tell us, Pete. Oh, mid. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Very light, Rodney. Good, good conversation. <laughs> we'll just cut now. that out. Turning the boat through. Oh, big mona. Monst. Right. Mammoth. Trout, Mammoth trouty. How's the rod bent, eh? I told ya. The light rod gets them just Please. thinking they've got a chance. It's not a bad fish, bowl. That's what I mean. Not a bad fish, Bolsey. Good trouty for you. If it's a good trout, I'll probably put it back just to annoy you. What? Hey? Eh? Eh? Kick me out of the boat. <laughs> oh, I think Potential something on it. Oh my goodness. It's not That's a tuna. It's a finger. Fingy. Oh my god, where's the oh. Fingies. Come on, fingers. Oh, it's not a bad one either, Bolsey. Oh, he's dinner for the bowlinator. Chopper! There you go. There you go, Chopper! Nice, mate. Jeez, he hammered me, hey? He did hammer me. Drew was right off the spot. <laughs> What's I had an apple and everything changed for we us. We had three drifts. We had an apple. Not a nib. And then... And the last two. Perfecto. Trouties. Second ever finger mark. In the bowling mobile, not in the bowling mobile, but courtesy of the bowling mobile. He's going in the esky for show. Shizzle. Oh, that's dinner sorted. Perfecto. Oh! He's dead. He's dead as donut. <laughs> you think he's dead? I think he's cacti. Eh? So I do it pretty much for every fish. I do like the same, it's the same technique. The same thing, Imogen. Well, I do. I just go down. The top here, so I get like a starting, like a finishing point. Yeah, it's not even a starting point, finishing point. And I'll just go from the tail up and just rip it off the backbone, and then just 
when you get to the rib cage, like, I, and I sliced along the top, and you get to the rib cage, and then you just cut out the whole rib cage. Yeah, okay. Instead of like cutting, filling the rib cage, because then you got to break all the stuff. Break the rib cage off the bone. Oh yeah. Makes it harder. Whereas if you just come in at the once back, once you get to it, you just cut go it out. Around. You might lose a tiny bit of meat doing that, but it's buckle quicker, really. Yeah. It's minuscule. Yeah, just tastier. Even more tasty because they live on the reef. Yeah, I don't know. They just, I don't know. I think the, the meat's a bit sweeter. Okay. For whatever reason. I've necked a few jacks. Have you? Yeah. Anything you don't neck? <laughs> um, Trevally. Trevally. You've got to start, mate. What a man, eh? Got the, the guns out. out. Get those guns on film, hey, Sam? There you go, look at that. Yeah, mate. Champion effort. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Big schlabs. Schlabby boy. Whiskers. Good shit. Alright, so we're going to cook up a bit of that finger mark later, but just in the interest of science and just for me uh, and for you, I've never had finger mark before, so I'm going to chuck a little bit on the barbie for lunch. And I'm just going to cook it a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, cook it real simple and then just chuck it on a bit of a wrap or something, you know, with not too much flavour, you know. If you put too much flavour in, you sort of you lose the taste of the fish. I'm interested to see what it tastes like because it is very highly rated. Like, it's it's above coral trouties, they reckon. So, and, yeah, we'll see. So, let's do that. All right, so just rip this little tiny bit off, just enough for one sort of fresh fish wrap. And then we're just going to keep it really simple and just go a bit of salt. Very hard to do one-handed. Salted. And then peppered. Well, I'm not going to be able to do the pepper one-handed. Oh, yeah, look at that. Pepper shake one-handed. What a guy. Oh, that is very awkward. And I can probably got enough pepper on that. On the board. Right, sweet. And I'll just chuck it on here. Cook that. Nice and simple. See what it tastes like. Alright, so we're calling a little bit of an audible on the uh, the wraps. Because the wraps are no good. They're funny thing, those wraps. Like, sometimes they're good for, like, six months. And then other times they're gone in, like, six days. So, I don't know what happens. The moisture gets in them or whatever. So, stolen two pieces of bread. I'm gonna do a little fish sanger, a little um, a little fillet of fish sort of uh, homage, I guess. So, just um, two pieces of bread, some lettuce, some mayo. I might put a little bit of cheese on there as well. So we should be good. I'm just about to flip my fish. All right, first things first. We got this this um, seriously good Dijon mustard. Now this, to give you a reference of what it tastes like, it tastes like you know, you get the uh, mustard sauce from Macca's, the nugget sauce. That is what this tastes like to a T. So, we've got a little bit of Macca's inspired taste. Put a little bit on each one instead of butter. And spread them on there. And yeah, dead set. That's like the closest thing I've ever tasted to Macca's. Macca's nuggets, so, and I don't really eat Macca's, hey, like I haven't eaten Macca's in years, eh? So yeah, we go that. This is a little Mersey Valley cheese, classic, strong and body. Just chuck a couple of bits of that on there. It's very sharp and crumbly. It's a different, it's a very different flavour, like it's very subtle and creamy. So put a couple of those on. Very subtle, not like a normal, not like a normal cheese. Sharp, subtle. So yeah, put that on. It's very crumbly. And then you just go a nice couple of little cost lettuce leaves. Bang, bang, bang. We should probably put them all on the same side, eh? Like that. Bang, bang, bang. And you grab our little dude. Oh, he's very fresh. I probably should have put on a little bit more. He shrunk down a fair bit. 
I'll just cut him in half. Wow, he is soft. You just stick him on there like that. Could have done with a little bit more, eh? But I will Shrunk down a bit. Very, very, very tender, very subtle. So, yeah, there's your own little little fish sandwich. All right, so that's pretty much it. Nice little sandwich. It's like a well done McDonald's vibe. You know what I mean? It's got a bit of a Macca's vibe to it, but it's not Macca's. It's good for you. So, and just a little update on the boat while I'm eating the sandwich. I took it in. Guys, I do a service on it. Um, all good, 450. So I was like, oh, that's pretty good, 450, because I'm used to paying like seven to eight hundred dollars in Brizzy. Turns out too good to be true. I rock up to, to pick it up, and he's like, gives me the bill, 671. I was like, dude, what? Like, what changed it from 450 to 671? He's like, oh, you know, it was pretty low on oil when it came in, and I was like, yeah, but. You drop all the oil out anyway on the service, so you use all the bloody like <clears throat> three litres of oil or whatever, and then, oh yeah, you know man, things just blow out and this and that, and I was like, oh fuck. But you look at all the stuff on there and it's like spark plugs, $24, so not too sure who's doing the servicing in there, whether they've got Mick Jagger or Keith Richards or who they've got back there doing the services, but very, very expensive. Maybe maybe I just got the day with the stones were in there doing the services and it went from 450 up to set. Well, first thing when I dropped it off this morning is it was um it was uh, he oh, I said yeah yeah I'm coming in bring this in and he had me scribbled out in the book cancelled and I was like no I'm I'm can't, I never cancelled eh? sure he rang up cancelled no didn't so yeah it was a bit of a bit of a hiccup so now because the only reason I was getting it done at dealerships and stuff is to maintain that warranty which I thought I had another year on but it's it's X amount of years or X amount of hours whatever comes first so it's it's rolled over to the the 600 hours instead of six so it's six years or 600 hours I've gone over 600 hours so I'm just gonna service it myself now but anyway so so that's what's going on there but yeah it's running it's running fine and all that so could be all good um that's about it, unless you want to say eat a sandwich, but I don't really feel like letting, well, putting that in and editing it, so I'm going to see you on the next one.